Hi, in this video we're going to see how we can configure MPLS LDP session protection. Remember that when we're working with LDP, we have a unicast, uh, we have a multicast discovery phase where we're sending packets to multicast address and this is how we know about those neighbors. And if we, those messages disappear for some reason, the session will actually go down. The session will go down between the two devices. And obviously this is going to have a negative effect in how the network, in, in how the network works. So in order to protect us for this, we have the option of doing targeted hellos. Basically, instead of relying then in those multicast hellos, because you can run into a situation where you can still reach, you can still reach your particular LDP peer, but the issue is that you can reach them through another device, you're not directly connected anymore. So the multicast will not really work because remember that multicast goes to 224.0.0.0.2. And obviously that's not gonna work over a device uh, unless you have some tunneling or something like that, which you know most scenarios you won't. So you can still reach, the IGP reconverges, but you can't reach it, you can, those multicasts can't reach, so the session goes down. But you can, do, you can reach it via unicast because the IGP reconverge. If you have an alternative way, you can get to it. So this is where session protection comes in, which is basically a way of having those hello messages being, besides being multicast, because they keep being, they, they keep being sent in a multicast fashion, they are, also, they are also unicast to the neighbors. And to kind of illustrate what I was saying, let's say, you know, if we look at this, and, you know, obviously, router one and router two are having that uh, multicast. Those messages are going across them and this link now goes down and they're using their loopbacks to, con to connect to each other. So now that goes down, those hellos disappear and the, those hellos you know, no longer are available there and the session is gonna go down. But we do have this path that goes via router four. So they are able to reach each other using the regular routing. So this is the idea of session protection. When we enable session protection, they're going to start unicasting uh, those hellos messages besides multicast. They're also going to continue using multicast. So, but when those multicasts disappear, they're gonna rely on the unicast to maintain that session up, reducing that potential impact of obviously that session going down and all those labels disappearing and you know, potentially breaking your MPLS application. You're gonna have that with this because then remember that the IGP is gonna reconverge very quickly. You know, in, the, in our case, we're using OSPF. So in a network this small, it's gonna reconverge quite quickly. So for example, you know, remember that typical hold time for this is what, 15 seconds? In 15 seconds, your IGP is actually going to reconverge. You're, you're gonna know that router one is gonna know that, hey, I can reach the loopback go, going via router four and vice versa. So how do we configure this? Well, this is relatively easy to configure. It's uh, Let's check router one and router two first. Let's see, show MPLS LDP session. Now show LDP neighbor details. And here we can see, let's go for the one, let's say, let's specify so we only look at the one to router two. And here you will see, you know, here there we have the timers. We have there, they're speaking with each other and everything is as we expect. Another interesting command is we do show MPLS LDP discovery. This is going to show, this is telling us that hey, we're receiving and we're transmitting and those interfaces and that's basically multicast. So how do we enable the actual session protection here? Well, we go into configuration mode and globally we say MPLS LDP session protection. And that's it. Now if we do the discovery command, we'll see an interesting thing. This is a global, this is global, so obviously this is trying to do it with everyone. But when it's only done on one side, we can see this, we can see that this is actually transmitting, but it hasn't received a unicast, uh, a unicast um, hello from any of the other neighbors. So, you know, at this point, only half of the configuration is done. We also have to enable it on the other device, for example, in router two. And then we'll see that this is actually now, we are, we are seeing, uh, that we're getting unicast hellos from router two. So what we'll do here, we'll do MPLS LDP session protection. And 
this is going to enable this feature here and we'll show, show I don't know why I keep eating the MPLS do show MPLS uh, discovery and we can see the same situation see how now we can we show that with uh, transmit and receive so meaning that we are sending and we are receiving unicast hellos so we can confirm that now the feature is working as we expect and if we check here with the detail remember that you have a series of you also have some uh, timers here for the target the hello and remember you can modify those if you need, require but see here how besides the normal discovery sources that you are used to from the regular multicast or the regular multicast hello messages you can actually see the targeted hello information here basically targeted hello is equal session protection and with this we have that feature where if the link is disabled and I think we can disable it let me check what's the link that goes between router 1 and router 2 and that would be gigabit 3 we can shut down that interface interface 3 shut down and by shutting down that interface, you can see there that the OSPF goes down, but LDP should um, LDP should stay uh, should continue to work because you know now we have now we have uh, those unicast messages. Because if I do, for example, show IP route 10.100.2.2. We now have another route. We know that we can go via router 4. So communication is restored there and the session doesn't disappear. In fact, see that the uptime here is an hour and a half. So the uptime is, hasn't changed even though we now lost that particular interface. So if I do, for example, show MPLS LDP command binding and I do include and let's put the look back off um, the look back off router 2 you can see that we still have information there that we learn from router 2 and if we look in the router uh, if we look in in router 2 it's going to be exactly the same thing if we look for router 1 information in the lib and we're going to have it there so with this we have protected our session because in the end it's uh, you know if we still have communication we can still have that tcp session between between router one and router two, why should we lose it if the IGP is gonna converge really, really quickly in this situation as we saw there. So LDP remains stable and when the interface comes back up, they don't have to, you know, the session doesn't have to be reformed and, you know, add that delay that obviously can break MPLS applications if you're not using something like LDP to IGP synchronization. So let's restore that. The so interface gigabit three, we do no shot and OSPF should come back up and uh, LLDP should be there anyway but let's check that with detail we see a multicast again and we are happy but as you can see the uptime of the session has not you know the session hasn't gone down the session hasn't flapped the information didn't wasn't removed from the lib and it wasn't removed from the LFib which is obviously the goal that we want to achieve and this is basically how you enable session protection on Cisco IOS. Uh, as always, thank you for watching and please don't hesitate to leave your comments in the section below.